Hey, this is Spike from DRI, and you're watching Rob 2. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Don't turn that channel. Yo. What up, though? I think I had my hat on the other way, so we're going to have my hat on this way. This show. Um, here we are, once again, 557 shows later. Uh, I was mentioning... <laughs> Like sometimes I don't really even know how I, how I fucking come up with like ideas for my TV show. Um, um, first off, I'm reading the script, so I have to say everything that I'm saying. But for whoever writes this shit, which is still what I'm reading, um, I don't even know who the hell writes this stuff. Um, pretty fucking credible though. Sometimes I say. Some pretty funny shit you know uh my writers who write all my stuff or whatever for me to mention and stuff like that i gotta give them like high thumbs up without these guys and girls fucking working for me i would get nowhere with all the ideas they come up with uh fucking a wow um uh, shit i guess fucking fuck into this year and the parts over here in the United States that I kind of been trapped up in this shit, dude. Been kind of like fucking trapped in the Icelands of uh, Chicagoland area. Um, we got some pretty cool things coming up here for you guys from this parts of shit. Uh, some pretty cool music stuff. It's coming up in the summertime, uh, a couple months uh, from the from this time or whatever. Uh, 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 we're late February-ish, going early March, getting ready for March. Uh, Summer's getting ready to start, but so we got a bunch of music, fucking fast music stuff that we want to show for you guys uh, when we go on location. It's just gonna be pretty fucking fun. Uh, some race car stuff, uh, definitely gonna be some race car shit in the future here. Uh, for the most part, tonight, fucking a. Thank you for being here. 550 shows later, uh, Rob Ross ripoff part two. Uh, plus extra. Um, I'm not too sure if we shoot show the fucking the warning, warning cat stuff. No. Oh, I can't wait for that. But later on, man. Oh God, fucking don't let your kids kids see that shit. Gonna have nightmares. Uh, but we got a pretty cool little warning sign for you guys. Warning, fucking warning. That cat eats fucking. I don't even want to ruin it yet. But vicious cat. Uh, Shit, we just finished off at, um, in studio. We were just been doing a lot of stuff. We're getting ready for my music. Um, by middle of March-ish, going towards the end of March, we're gonna have my CD kind of pretty much close to started. Uh, uh, all the recordings and all the little niches and niches are gonna be uh, getting started to work on, hopefully by that time. Uh, but, but I think we're gonna be done finalizing recording. So my part will be done. Now it's up to all the geniuses that put it all together. Uh, the genius that puts it together, right? <laughs> uh, that's gonna be so much fun. Um, uh, we got like at least one more song, two more songs we're shooting for, but we def I th definitely got pretty much a good like good feeling about one song in particular, the next song that we're going to record. Um, it's a little bit of a Slayer ripoff, kind of. Uh, a little bit of the Slayer formula from an old song, uh, Die by the Sword. Way early shit, you know what I'm saying? Like we're talking like, I mean it's got like, a, it's really hard to explain, but I'm just... Kind of still a little bit of their idea, you know what I mean? I didn't really too much shoot for too much, still and too much of the idea. Uh, it's oh, talking about a war, uh, anyone in particular, a war's war. Um, so, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be fun fun putting it together. So I'm telling you now, we're just getting ready to put, it, put this together. Uh, this is the right time. So we're getting ready to put this together and stuff like that, man. And I'm really excited for it. I'm a little bit nervous or whatever for this new CD or whatever. Uh, we've been doing and having a lot of everything uh, as far as movies. I think we're still almost in the works of this film fest. Um, it's supposed to be started by the end of March-ish. Uh, submissions, everything's supposed to be submitted uh, by the end of March. 
Uh, I think we're still probably pretty much a little bit before that right now as we speak. Uh, we got a lot in store. What do we call? We got all kinds of like. What do we got? Fest. Oh, I already said music fest or whatever. But um, all that stuff. Sometimes I repeat myself because that's just what they write for me. Eddie Rocha, what's up, dude? We were just talking about you earlier, man. What's up? What's going on, bro? Fuck, we gotta mention about you, bro. Before we go on with this TV show, I said every show. I think, if I'm not mistaken, our last TV show we mentioned you, didn't we? Maybe? I think. Maybe if we didn't. We're, we, part of the guys who write my TV show scripts or whatever and get them all like notes ready, what we're gonna talk about or whatever, you came up. So they said, okay, well, we're gonna have an Eddie Rocha minute. And this is gonna be dedicated to Eddie Rocha and shit. And, you're just, and they were saying, you gotta talk about this person who a Rocha is and say you know what he meant to you why he meant to you who is he this is stuff they write for me to talk about so this is what I'm gonna say you Eddie Rocha minute because it's gonna be a couple minutes um, uh, it was awesome dude having you as like you know you were writing the TV show um, oh no you were calling our TV show I think we were live it was pretty cool. We were we were actually uh, in front of a wait. We were doing something where we were I think live. Wait, I don't really remember. But all I know is all these TV shows we were doing anyways. You were at home watching it, and somehow um, <laughs> you just, we were just almost came out of nowhere. Left a message, uh, and it, it's it's been like pretty cool meeting you. You know what I mean? So like. He went with us to DRI. He asked if he can be a part of the DRI uh, footage. There's DRI footage. That one has a couple thousand hits and stuff like that. So um, anybody who's interested in a band called D Dirty Rotten Imbeciles, DRI, well, we interviewed them. Uh, they let us film the whole concert. It was pretty cool. Uh, I had told them. Um, before the concert started or whatever, I said, well, you guys are coming to Tucson. What's up, Spike Lee? Nah, you right there. What's up, Spike Cassidy? Hey, man, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna I got a ticket for your TV show while I do this public access TV show. Is it cool if we can show up and we can do like a little interview? And he was like, he texts back. I wish we still had a copy of that text back or it wasn't a text, it was just a message back then. Here, I think it was 2000, wasn't it? Ish, 2000-ish. Um, he messaged back that we can videotape the whole concert and the interview. Oh, it was awesome, man. It was almost like the turning point of like, almost like the full circle feel. Like like I went full circle with, with what I was doing as far as videotaping bands. You know what I'm saying? Cause I was, I had started out videotaping like our band, Room, you know, which was a lot of fun. Uh, Saphead, then we get Saphead, we did Mind Band, we did all them local Tucson bands, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Syndicate, uh, a lot of bands that really weren't to, from Tucson, but performances from bands that played in different Tucson venues or whatever, that was pretty fun. That was pretty fun. I would call them up, uh, set it up, say, hey, I know you're going to show up over here at this place. Uh, I'll be backstage if it's cool, you know, back door or whatever, do the interview. Uh, I'll videotape you guys. If it's cool, can I come in through the back door or whatever, if even that, you know what I'm saying? Most of the time, not even that. I just will just walk in and be having a video camera and they just let me walk right by. But uh, it's just kind of hard to distract me and shit. Uh, yeah, A. Rocha, though, still was part of that story about DRI over at the Rialto Theater in 2000. Now, he was like part of the people like 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 our little circle so he's like man can me and my lady come with you guys and hang out inside the Rialto it was this is after the concert or whatever well he was already at the concert so we videotaped a little bit before uh, we videotaped the whole t the whole show then afterwards we got a hand with shoulder it wasn't even handheld it was a, on your shoulder a camera um, and then uh, he filmed that while I was on the stage and I talked to Spike Lee, I mean Spike Cassidy, 
of DRI Dirty Rotten episodes. So that was my, like I said, turning point of of interviewing small bands like Room and Syndicate and and uh, and uh, uh, Saphead. You know, and Saphead were like the best, coolest people, man. Them dudes, shit, man. And then and one of the guys, the lead singer, man, fuck. Uh, I don't know if I should say this, but I think I'm gonna say it anyways. Man, he fucking sold weed and shit. <laughs> Holy fuck, I was bombers, dude, man. Bombers. I, I can't even explain. I almost how they look like 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 this, this round. I'm no, just kidding. But anyways, yeah, them sap saphead guys, shit, man. We set up just for the fuck of it parties, and they come over there and help blow up the and and tear up the rest of what the night had already become. Uh, it was so much fun with them guys. Uh, a lot of local band kind, of, like 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 there was a certain style though. It wasn't just any kind of like like local band fucking uh, uh, style. You know what I mean? It, it, like like you got different. You know when you're in a, a little town or whatever, and you got local bands, you got hundreds of different styles. Well, uh, the, the 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 type of style that I was into that I played and videotaped and shits. You know. Some of the bands were like a certain hardcore type person and shit, almost like gangsters and shit, but we were just still rock and rollers and shit. But we still represented, you know, parts of the town we were from, uh, Tucson at the time. Um, yeah, some of the different locations sometimes. Um, pretty scary. But uh, anyways, shit. Fucking uh, Eddie Rocha, he was part of our show um, that time in 2000. So he helped me out, and I just want to say what I thought. I think that was already past Eddie Rocha time, wasn't it? Uh, but you still rock anyways, though, bro. Uh, Marty Catola, Ray Daniel, Chris Duncan. It was because of Chris Duncan, actually, that started this to begin with. If it wasn't for Chris Duncan being in my life, then I don't think none of this would ever fucking started and shit, dude. So you got to thank Chris Duncan. Shit. Thanks, Chris Duncan. Appreciate it. He went and got me all started and invited me to that night. And I remember seeing Marty's TV show before I started the TV show. Uh, uh, I remember seeing like like shows uh, on the air, tripping some Golden Key fucking good fucking mescaline acid shit that was like fucking like one hit was three or four hit wonders and shit, man. Holy fuck. So uh, I don't do drugs though, not anymore at least. Um, drugs do me and have done me so um, yeah man S Slayer fuck um, Steely Dan we'll talk a little bit more about that in the next segments to come uh, stay tuned stay tuned for the rest of the show if you guys could sorry if I bored you a little bit you know go get some popcorn go get some cheese crisps what else let me see if I can get some fucking uh, you know what's good is wheat thins with fucking rents Ranch dressing, a little dab of ranch, that's badass. Uh, uh, carrot sticks if you're into that shit, or fruit, beer, wine, hard alcohol, with some good al hard alcohol, some Jack Daniels is good alcohol. What else, some Jägermeister and shit, right? What else do you fucking alcoholics drink and shit? I don't, wait, I do drink. I drink fucking snake juice, right? All right. Oh, that fucking snake juice tastes good. So, yeah, speaking about snake juice, uh, my new CD. We'll talk about that more in about fucking maybe a half hour or so. Or something like that. So, stay tuned for the rest of the show. Uh, go get all, like, what I just mentioned, if you can. Some fucking, uh, what else can you make, uh, if you could, real quick, in a couple minutes. Just a regular sandwich. Uh, cause, uh, we just, we just, we just got the rest of, uh, uh, Rob Ross Ripoff, uh, part two. Uh, a little extra, I think, afterwards. And then he got Gloria Stefan. And then he got pistols. <laughs> Here you go, man. See? See? You get it all tonight. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned for the rest of the show, man. And we'll fucking be back for in, in a few minutes with some, uh, with some, uh, with some, we, we, we like to call it over here down in the studios, some Robert Babel. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna decide whether my hat looks better like this or like this without the hair sticking out. So that's what, that's what they were talking about earlier. So 
Stay tuned.
putting this together again been my pleasure and it's been fun uh, narrating is a little bit different. Hopefully everybody's been enjoying and, and uh, appreciating the little bit of effort I've been putting together for you guys to present all this. Um, um, as far as getting to this point is uh, uh, drawing this. Um, uh, yeah, a lot of times it's just up to the actual individual. Uh, when No matter what kind of drawing you're doing as far as what I, how I drew this. Um... You know, like I said, it took me an hour or whatever. It takes me an hour-ish, give or take hour, uh, to to do a eight by ten size uh, female portrait artist art that I do. Uh, that's the pencil wise. Now, when it comes to the ink, in, if I could stay on it and I usually kind of start when I start something, I don't really stop. So, like when I start inking it, as you can see, it took different steps to get to even just this point or whatever um, um, I usually don't stop but I go straight when I start inking to when I start and I, all the way straight to when I finish and uh, that that's pretty much the formula uh, it, it's just easier like that you know sometimes when people take their time if I take my time or whatever um, uh, it, it just seems like uh, it, it's just easier just to get it over with uh, especially if you got the drive to want to just go ahead and um, um, uh, do any kind of artwork like at that very moment draw um, you know I try to like I said mention uh, make it as simple as possible I buy uh, regular uh, paper mate uh, big pens and stuff like that for my inking color pencils made from Crayola uh, I get top of the line Crayola and highly recommended to get any kind of like a Crayola uh, regular color pencil or you got your twist end top you can twist the end and it, and uh, the lead comes out at the other, other end now those are highly recommended also because uh <sighs> Uh, that the lead doesn't break as easily. Uh, sometimes when you sharpen your pencils, so if you got the wooden pencils or whatever with the wooden le- uh, with the regular lead, uh, different colors or whatever, but they're wooden pencils. Sometimes the lead intends to break. So don't get frustrated with that. Um, okay, so as far as again getting to this point, um, we did. This is number twenty nine. We said right. Okay, so it's five minutes. Um, getting to this point now as far as me personally like I said I get the small things the small things done the eyelashes the eyes the lips the nipples uh, the fingernails sometimes not in this one in particular but I got full body shots of some def- different female portrait art that I've done uh, in the past um, you know was full body from head to toe so sometimes you know paint painting the nails or whatever you know it's small detail, but it does stand out, you know. Um, shoes, um, I usually make it like an open toe, either uh, uh, e- either if they're sandals or just a regular sandals or open toe, stiletto type, high heel. Um, I usually don't go any further than that because I usually like my female portrait art uh, open toe shoes, literally, you know what I'm saying? So nothing's really hiding. Um, because personally, I don't like when I see girls with um, high heels or whatever, and they're all like, oh, closed. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, get some style going there. But as far as this is going as concerned, though, as far as when I was doing it, um, I started with the face. Obviously, obviously, as you can see here. Now, sometimes I'll start as far as coloring, especially with. Uh, um, now this is an eight by ten, so figure I'm taking up the whole eight by ten picture. Uh, of this female which looks of course looks small on the screen but in actual you know reality you know I know it's an 8 by 10 or whatever uh, uh, sheet of paper or whatever but it it, it 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 does take a lot of space or whatever and when you're coloring you know a lot of the body parts or whatever um, it takes you know you gotta just be patient or whatever and just you know try not to over color or under color but just kind of take your time with it, trying to get that that ink, that color in there, so that way, you know, like I said, you don't want it to look too, too dark.
Okay, so anybody um, to this point, um, I know we jumped the gun here a little bit and uh, didn't really explain full detail of full every full step. But uh, getting to this point or whatever, like I was mentioning and have mentioned or whatever, uh, hopefully everybody's been getting a little bit of knowledge from, uh, you know, what I've been doing for you guys. Uh, it's been my pleasure. really appreciate the time anybody's taken just to sit there and watch and listen. Um, 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 it was kind of complicated putting this together for for the world or whatever uh for my own personal use so to say um a lot of times a lot of everything that's i've draw is is 120 percent and that's we're talking like uh, past 100 percent 120 percent personal use or whatever you know it's not really it it can be made it and sometimes i do make it for the public and make it for the world or whatever but for the most part it's mostly for personal whatever uh you know don't really know why you know maybe if any kind of like uh if if there's any kind of psychologists out there any kind of doctors out there that that have any uh uh, not questions but answers for me feel free to let me know you know what would be the obsession for this you know what 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 is it you know you know did my father oh because this is what really happened my father had a bunch of playboys and porno and all kinds of different shit laying around the house not laying around the house but underneath his bed in his room and shit where he thought it was he could just close his door and he didn't think his kids were going to get into his room well we did anyways and what we found was pretty fucked up shit especially like magazines and shit um so you know like like after all these fucking years or whatever when it boils down to now i draw these female art pictures um is that the result of it you know now now anybody out there that will tell me that it's perverted and this and that and and you know i've i don't know man i i it's artwork to me okay so um anyways uh yeah getting to this point though um uh you know, all the way getting like coloring the skin, uh, but like I said, there's steps to doing and getting to this point or whatever. Um, a lot of times, as I was mentioning about the penciling, how it takes me an hour or whatever. Um, the inking when when the whole penciling is done, uh, the inking. Now sometimes it does take a little bit of correcting here and there, or whatever. If the like arm is like got a little bit of like wiggly spots or whatever, and you just need to straighten it out and then erase or whatever, a lot of correcting and shit um, that usually can you know kind of take place. Um, um, you know, but for the most part, uh, the ink and the coloring is, of course, when you're icing it out, that's it that's final that's done after that's colored or whatever now sometimes what i what i've what i'm trying to put together is is cutting out like uh copies of the artwork and um and putting some kind of background if i gotta look into that as a matter of fact so uh, for different like you know for baseball uh nascar and different you know have some 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 maybe like sunset you know some dolphins or whatever you know what i'm saying uh, some sheeps and shit hanging around by some sheeps or something like that, you know. Because if you were a sheep, would you fuck sheep? Maybe. Uh, sorry if I ruined the moment or whatever. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, we're coming down to the nitty gritty of this show. Um, it's been fun. Uh, narrating has been a little bit different, uh, especially the way we've been doing it. It's been pretty cool. Uh, watching the little screen or whatever and uh, putting this together for you guys has been awesomely fun. Uh, the hair, man, though, like, 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 uh, highly recommend not to go out your way to, you know, buy expensive stuff, you know, as far as anything like this, everything's so dirt cheap, the paper's dirt cheap, the pencils are dirt cheap, you know, it's just a lead pencil with a cheap eraser, you know, because you're, you know, I'm, you know, Anybody that does draw and and you don't have to erase and you don't erase, well, good for you. But there's people that do have to erase sometimes. Thank you.
Okay, for the last three minutes, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, sorry to go ahead and blow it for you guys as far as uh, commentary is concerned. Uh, it's been fun. A little bit different doing it this way. Um, I knew it was to begin with. I just didn't have the technology to do anything kind of this technology-wise. Um, uh, as far as inking and coloring pencils and all this artwork stuff that you guys have been presented with tonight hopefully everybody enjoyed themselves uh now i can do that uh i'm not too sure if i mastered but uh i just do what i do and it's it's pretty fun uh uh as far as filming uh um you know rolling a camera and showing any kind of camera stuff uh um you know that's kind of similar to a, a, a art passion also uh uh, so I like I like doing that too. A um, uh, little bit, they're they're both in in a big sense, uh, almost identical, but a little bit different to each other or whatever. Uh, coloring and inking and penciling or whatever, it's a little more hands on, you know. Uh, uh, now now now, what you guys saw tonight? Now hopefully and what are watching tonight. Um, and today, or whenever you're watching uh, this early morning, late morning, whenever. Um, uh, oh my God! I'm, the way it got filmed and and colored and inked and everything. Uh, I just, I just, you know, thank my lucky stars or whatever that you know got the ability to do what I do or whatever abilities and disabilities, what I call them or whatever. Uh, so uh, we'll call it that. The, the abilities of disabilities show. Um, so we got a few more minutes here and then we're going to pretty much, uh, oh yeah, here we go with some, uh, some behind the scenes, uh, my ugly self. Uh, this has pretty much been it though. It's been fun. Um, um, you know, our hats off to Bob Ross, you know, cause he was one of my big inspirations for doing artwork and, rolling the camera and, and and narrating his stuff he didn't really narrate like the way i narrated this or whatever but it was pretty much kind of hard for me to narrate roll the camera and at, at the different times of inking and coloring uh i couldn't do all three at once so um uh it was really super fun so thank you for being here tonight uh uh stay tuned for whatever else we're gonna do after this and and thank you for being here tonight that's all I gotta say and it's been fun it's been my pleasure and, and once again bye bye Um, I think I think if I'm not mistaken, we had footage for a song called Black Death, um, and also we had some oh some footage behind um, um, some just footage. Let's just call it for now. Um, I think we were gonna try to put a mu music video to together with, or at least with my music, with with the footage behind in the back of that. Uh, would be pretty neat. Do you think maybe? I don't know. I think we talked about it but let's see what we can do uh get ready for the next cd though man just let me get take a minute of that uh that's gonna be pretty fun uh we're getting ready for the studio time um i'm gonna get my acoustic guitar and gonna start putting putting it together uh it's pretty neat uh putting all the process of all that i think we got some of the some of the uh the older songs that we recorded and got ready for the uh uh, first songs of the CD. Uh, I think we got uh, some of it videotaped. I was like videotaping everything. 
because if you guys could, if I could, I would probably videotape me going to the bathroom for you guys. Not just kidding. I had to say, um, uh, this song kind of reminds me of Mike, Mike Valencia. Do we talk about Mike Valencia? Not really. <laughs> uh, but the CD, man, though, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, it's going to be fun. Fun. Uh, it's still fun after all this time. Uh, a lot of in between, but it's cool because it gives me a lot, a lot of time to not really be rushing into it. Because um, I really don't want to rush, you know what I'm saying? Take my time. I'm taking our time. Uh, with what we've already recorded, still got a little bit of work into it. We still got to fucking, still got to like, you know, you know, iron out the fucking wrinkles, so to say. Get it all straightened out for y'all though. Get it all nice and shit. This is the part. Your part that you might want to see when you're watching Alice in Wonderland is the Chester, Chester, Chester Cat. Chester Cat part. Uh, do all that mushrooms or acid or ecstasy or what else is there? Uh, mescaline, right? Right? Fear It All in Las Vegas. That was a good movie to watch when you're all fucked up on that shit too. Uh, drinking really doesn't do it for you when you're watching those movies and drunk drinking because you pass out. Now, if you're fucked up on some mushrooms or something like hallucin hallucinogenic, that's a little different, right? A lot of bit different. Uh, so uh, we just feel we're gonna we got we're gonna go ahead and talk about a few different things tonight. Uh, we just finished off, or we're getting close to, or so wish to uh, doing the the uh, Rob Ross ripoff. Uh, hopefully, everybody enjoyed that. It, it was my passion and my top, my pleasure to do that for you guys. Uh, put that all together. Uh, now, I had somebody telling me earlier that don't get too emotional and this and that, like like it's gonna really make you look bad. And I was like thinking, well, don't you think I should maybe just, like, even if I do feel like I want to cry, cry? And they said, no, don't cry. So I'm trying not to cry. So I'm going to admit it. So, but weren't they saying earlier that the corner over there is kind of dangerous in my house because it's icy? Not good. Uh, so, we have to fix that. Still middle of the winter time and fucking trapped in the ice lines of the Midwest and shit or whatever. But it's going to be pretty nice pretty soon. See, we get the lake fucking front coming up, the fucking lake. Uh, my little fucking beach spot, go over there, grab me a six pack of soda. Guys, okay, like that? Soda. By that time, she, we're gonna be already three, I must, I, well, no. It seems like 365 days is a long time, but that's a long fucking time. Uh, because that's a long fucking time. Um, uh, I don't know if, uh, no, I don't think I want to talk about that. I was going to talk about like being like all sober or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Now, sobriety is really not a big part of my life or whatever. Or whatever, but what I've heard of it, you know what I'm saying? People say, well, don't talk about your fucking sobriety. I guess just don't talk about it, right? Fuck, bottom of the line. Bottom of the line. Um... Yeah, because I still drink my snake juice. Now, we won't say what's in snake juice, okay? Right? We'll just leave it kind of at that or whatever. Uh, uh, Slayer, Tamariah, Carrie King. Um, I think that's all original anyway. That's it. That's it. Gonna hang it up. This is it. Uh, we got Slayer coming over here to Chicago time. Chicago land. Uh, Friday, May 25th. Uh, we'll be there with a video camera filming it somehow, some way with you guys. We'll have s some footage for you guys. A couple Slayer songs, definitely. Uh, they got Anthrax coming with them. Testament. Lamb of God. Behemoth. Anybody that likes them bands, we're going to film and get little parts of all these different bands. Uh, we'll go on location. As we're going to be on location at the actual concert in, in, in over here. Uh, we can make a fan. I can talk to the fans, m maybe, and uh, you know, see what they had to say about their favorite band or whatever. You know, whatever. You know, anybody who wants to do whatever. Fucking, we'll we'll be be there rolling the camera. Uh, we'll definitely be there rolling the camera for you know, Anthrax, Testament, Lamb of God, right? We'll, we'll just you know, 
we'll just film it all for you guys. You know, probably not the whole whole show, which we'll try, but that's a lot of hours. That's an hour, a couple hours of, uh, you know, we have to sit there with the camera, you know. Can't even enjoy ourselves and shit, because it's all business and shit. When, you, when it comes to rolling the camera, uh, I think we got a few minutes for you guys here or something like that, right? So, uh, let me see. This is almost the end, right? Still. Uh, Steely Dan, uh, June 21st, coming up. Um, we're going to be there on location for you guys for that too. Also, looking forward to the Steely Dan. Uh, it'll be my first time. So, uh, excuse me if you get me yelling out and singing songs along with them. Uh, just like you guys got for, what was it, Ellison Chains? So, um, you can always tap the webpage or our page and then you can see stuff we've done in the past. Um, we've been on location with uh, um, anywhere from events of Soulfly. Uh, Two Live Crew, that was pretty cool. Uh, what else did we do? We did uh, sh all kinds of different bands. We got bands coming up, the like Ying Yang almost. Uh, so we're gonna try to get the camera rolling for you for Steely Dan too. I wanna just go ahead and give you guys a heads up for that. Uh, that's still a little bit of time away from now, but it's just a heads up for now. Uh, Slayer, same thing. Uh, we got all that whole fest coming up for you. What was the fest called again? Uh, not too sure of the fest, but um, speaking of fest, film fest. So, by now, by this moment, for you guys and the world uh, in the film fest uh, industry, um, you know, we're, we're all like a fan. We all know what the hell each other's doing out there, you know what I mean? We can look at each other's work. And also, we can all, uh, uh, you know, judge it, say, oh, well, you know, even if it is good or if it isn't good, you know, still, most of the time you want to keep your, your thoughts and uh, true feelings to yourself, but sometimes people let it out or whatever, and constructive criticism is good, and so, you know, especially from a friend or whatever, family member or whatever. You know, I've always had people tell me, quit singing, quit singing, so I got a fucking dead cat getting ran over. Well, I still sing anyways, you know what I'm saying? Even if it sounds like that cat getting ran over, <laughs> I say, God help the fucking world. Because here I come. Uh, 557 shows, though, huh? So here we are, man. This is it. Uh, Rob Ross Pip Rip Off. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it was fun to put it together for you guys. Um, we're, still working, uh, we're still working at it as we speak here, kind of behind the scene. You know, you would just don't hurt me when you guys see me out in the real world out there. Don't 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 shoot me or kill me or whatever for speaking my mind. You know, go kill Chris and Ray and shit. They're the ones who got me all started with this shit. You know what I'm saying? They got me all like fired up and said, "Oh, let's go over here." You know, my friend's doing a TV show. You know who he is. And I'm like, yeah, I know who he is. Let's go. Fuck it. We go over there. It's all it That's all it took. Uh, then was live. We were live. Then the live died. And then he, we were still trying to do. He was. Uh, we, we had some pre-recorded on location spot. You know. Had a little cookout at the whole show. Um, we managed to get and pass time. No, I'm not really too sure on the actual time that we did then. But it was a time that was passed. Um, and then after a while, kind of try to give some ideas. They didn't really work out like that to my idea, uh, um, ideas, like the song. That's a total 80s, huh? Um, then I asked for my, my own hour. Uh, and it's pretty much history since, isn't it? Isn't it? I don't know how long, like, if I want to compare, or not compare, but, uh, if we want to level up, how much time I did in Tucson, or how much time I did in Illinois, and, you know, yada, 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 you know, what did I, it's, it seems like, I don't know, the creativity of trying to put things together, like, especially like a short film that I got for you guys, because I've done it from time to time, 
I try to do a little bit of acting for my, my own top. Get ready for Don't Dance with the Devil by the Pale Moonlight. And I said it right. Don't Dance with the Devil by the Pale Moonlight movies coming to you guys live via satellite on location filmed here in the area of Illinois for you all. Uh, we got a superstar coming for you guys. Supermodel star coming for you guys. Top dollar model. So um, hoping everything's going to iron out with that or whatever. You know, the budget's not going to be like, you know, it's only going to be in the million dollar mark and shit, you know what I'm saying? You know, I was thinking more of the lines of a ten million dollar mark, but we'll just for starters start the million dollar mark. A million dollars an hour to have this actress act our spots for you guys. It's going to be worth our money. We got millions to throw anyways, so we're paying her a million dollars an hour. I'm just going to tell you guys how much I'm paying her an hour. Bottom line, had I hire an actress, I can't do it all myself anymore. I can do multi I can do multiple characters for you guys, but no, right? I think we'll stop doing the multiple characters now. I think I gotta go ahead and and, and uh, um, retire the multiple characters. Um, I wanted to like uh, what I need to do is I got this idea about a uh, what's it called a ventriloquist dummy. It ends up being my friend and split personality type shit stuff. Long story, because still still in the works of putting it together for the world. Uh, but my family would disown me. They says if I get a ventriloquist dummy to start acting to put a movie together with, they don't want me around no more. <laughs> me, and my dummy's gotta go. Fucking dummy, huh? Blame it on the fucking dummy. Um. Uh, happy early St. Patrick's Day, right? Or something like that. A week away or so. So hey, be careful everybody out there. Drinking that green ass beer. Uh, you like how you go, uh, well that's part of the fucking script that they need to stop writing for me. Uh, it makes me sound like, kind of like a little bit not fucking very smart. I just gotta stop adding and make it part of the script. Because they say, well, we base it on things that you've done in the past. How your TV show is, that's how we write it. Because you do this, this is how we still write it. Because we want, you know, we can't change your image. You gotta, if you look like you're, you know, illiterate and you don't know what the hell you're saying or doing up there and you're looking pretty stupid, well, it's because your first, second, third, fourth, fifth show, well, you look pretty stupid, so you better was, might as well keep on looking pretty stupid. 500 shows later, stupid. <laughs> what am I supposed to say to that? Can't I fucking argue to that. Last stop of the night. Let me go ahead and tell the world, all the guys out there, come on. Danica Patrick rocks. Um, I had I heard a story about Danica Patrick story uh, just the other day. The guy was telling me that she refused to uh, sign autograph because this was something somebody said. Uh, people were waiting for an hour. She refused hundreds and thousands of people or probably whatever to get their autograph after waiting all day. And thank God she never did that to us. Uh, she uh, we, I went to two different places on the same day to go get a, two, two, four different autographs from her. Uh, she was like, asked me if I was stalking her. I told her no, just give me my autographs. Uh, thank you for being here tonight. This is the end, beautiful friend. This is the end, my only friend, the end. I think, right?